Oh yes, people, we are now delving into the really excellent stuff with my tribute to the two Johnny Bravo Christmas specials. Twas the Night, which originally aired on Cartoon Network USA on August 1997, and A Johnny Bravo Christmas, which originally aired on Cartoon Network USA on December 2001. And I put these two together not just because they belong to the same show, but because they kind of related well in terms of the story. Starting off with Twas the Night, it's essentially a parody of the wonderful Christmas poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas. And this particular parody was really hilarious in its own special way. As I caught this when I was a seven-year-old boy, and I remembered just literally laughing my head off, especially when watching it again as an adult, did I realize just how much it held up. The rhyming was so hilarious, and especially in terms of the plot, where Johnny tried to protect his house from burglars, only to mistakenly clobber Santa with a karate kick. I thought it was just really hilarious. And Santa, oh my word, the fact that he verbally welded on Johnny saying that he now has to take over his job, which is not an easy thing to do, and yet is executed in such a way that just comes off as really charming, was a lot of fun. And we even get to see cameos from different characters like Jungle Boy, the Evil King Raymond, the Gorilla Girls, and even little Susie. And there was one moment with the mayor of Aaron City where he was admiring his new fresh pair of underwear and his wife walks in on him and she completely scolds him and the mayor's wife was brilliantly voiced by the ever so talented Candy Milo, a big highlight in this particular Christmas special from 1997. And it was just a lot of fun with this particular Christmas special from 1987 when it came to Johnny Bravo. And a Johnny Bravo Christmas was twice as hilarious, twice as exciting, and it was just grander scaled, mostly due to the fact that we have Johnny, Susie, and this really crazy pilot, and even the wonderful Donny Osmond just having this madcap goose chase to get to the North Pole to mail Johnny's and Bunny's letters to Santa. And it was just a really fun ride from beginning to end. And for 21 minutes, in terms of a Johnny Bravo Christmas, it really went well. It was just so well woven when it came to the story and it was just really exciting. Not to mention Donny Osmond and his over enthusiasm and his over optimism just really made everything so hilarious. I know he was supposed to be kind of annoying, but this is the type of annoying that was really charming and really hilarious. So to Donny Osmond, who managed to play himself in this particular Christmas special, I have to give you my huge amounts of kudos because you managed to make this darn Christmas special such a huge gem. And it was just a huge ball considering that everyone just had a ball whether it be the crazy pilot, little Susie, Donny Osmond, and even Johnny Bravo himself, you can definitely tell that the voice actors, Jeff Glenn Bennett and even Mae Whitman, just to name a few, just had a lot of fun with this particular special. And I can definitely tell that everyone behind the scenes really gave it their all. And it was just simply put a grand Christmas special to enjoy. And even a lot of the side trips that Johnny and Susie managed to get themselves into, like when Johnny meets the French niece of the trucker woman, and it was just so hilarious, especially considering that the trucker woman has a very elegant voice, but when you see her in person, she's quite portly, and you can't help but feel so sorry for Johnny when he is just thrashed with ridicules from the post office staff and even kicked on the shin by a kid. And it was just kind of sad to watch Johnny just feel so thrashed. So overall, what more can I say about the two Johnny Bravo Christmas specials? 
They are a huge must watch. Whether you're a hardcore Johnny Bravo fan, whether you're a hardcore Cartoon Network fan, or whether you're a fan of animation in general, or whether you're just a fan of animated TV in general. These two Christmas specials are a definite must watch for the holiday season, and they will definitely leave you with a huge smile on your face, not just because of our hapless hero, Johnny Bravo, but also because of all of the exciting moments found from these two awesome Johnny Bravo Christmas specials. Well, that's it for my tribute to the Johnny Bravo Christmas specials. Tune in later when I look back at an anime Christmas special from Chrono Crusade. So until then, take care everybody.